What it do you two? It's your boy EJ2 Smooth coming back at it with another video, man. As you can see from the title and thumbnail, today we caught 10 MOSs in the military and what they do. The reason I'm coming up with this video is because a lot of people is joining the military clueless of what their job is. So today I'm helping you guys on what each job is, I'll tell you how long AIT is, how long basic is. But if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. Let's get to the first MOS. Let's get it. So the first MOS in today's video is a translator, also known as 09 Lima. If you're wondering what 09 Lima is, instead of saying the whole name in the military, we go by two numbers and a character. So 09 Lima, that's a translator. Translators, they just translate different languages when you go get deployed or on rotation, man. It's kind of self-explanatory. But in order to be a translator, you have to get an ECLT score of 50. And the AIT for a translator is six weeks. So the next MOS in today's video is a 11 bang bang 11 bravos like when you think of the military you think of 11 bang bangs they clear houses clear buildings and you know they just destroy it it's a combo mos and that's what 11 bang bang is you know what i'm saying the next mos is 11 charlie 11 charlie is similar to 11 bravo but they're just mortars you know what i'm saying so they stay in a stationary position and just shoot off rounds 11 bravos they clear houses clear buildings things of that nature Fun fact about 11 Bravos and 11 Charlie is you cannot choose which one you want to be. It's kind of randomly chosen, but yeah, you don't choose. You come in as 11 X-Ray and they choose for you. In order to be 11 Bang Bang and 11 Charlie, you have to have a combat score of 87. AIT for 11 Bravos are 12 weeks long. And the next MOS in today's video is Combat Engineers, also known as 12 Bravo. Combat Engineers, they construct buildings and fire positions and they tech mines and placing and detonating explosives. In order to be a 12 Bravo, you have to have a combat score of 87. And the AIT is pretty short. The AIT is four weeks long. And the next MOS in today's video, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're almost halfway done. I'm gonna give y'all a couple seconds, couple seconds to get a water break and a snack break. Time is ticking. Before we get back to the video, I just want to show you guys a few photos and videos of my experience at NTC. If you're not sure what NTC is, it's a national training facility where you train to get your unit the best it can possibly get before you end up getting deployed or end up going on rotation, man. I just wanted to show you guys. When you go to NTC, you will not take a shower for 30 or 40 days. But if you guys want a story time on my NTC rotation, just let me know in the comment section below, man. I love y'all. Let's get back to the video. Now that y'all back in today's video, the next MOS in today's video is Bridge Crew Members, also known as 12 Charlie. Similar to the 12 Bravo Combat Engineers, 12 Charlies are used when a squad of soldiers are tackling through terrain involving water and combat scenarios. I guess that's what 12 Charlies do. I never knew there was a 12 Charlie. But in order to qualify to be a 12 Charlie, you have to have a combat 87. Training is also four weeks long. And the next, this job is self-explanatory. They perform and assist in underwater conditions. But I didn't even know we had divers in the army, to be honest. Anything that got to do with the water in the army, that's 12 Delta. In order to qualify to be a diver, you have to have a general maintenance of a 98, a GT score of 107, and a skill technical score of 106. Their AIT is 29 weeks long. That's, a, that's one of the longest AITs that I've done heard of so far. But the next MOS in today's video is Plumbers, 12 kilo. Potential in the civilian world. So if you ever get out, you ever decide to retire in the military after 20 years, or you just not feel in the military after your first contract, you could always get out and just get a plumbing job in the civilian world. You know what I'm saying? I wish somebody would've told me this. I recommend you to get a job that can transfer to the civilian world so you could be set when you get out. All these jobs will be great in the civilian world. So make sure if you decide to come to the military, get a job that can help you when you get out. You know what I'm saying? It's always about that plan B. You did. You have to get a GM score of 88 and a AIT for plumbers are seven weeks long. Horizontal construction engineers, also known as 12 November. I almost forgot what the character was for an end. These engineers use construction equipment, heavy vehicles, and other equipment to do construction projects for the army. GM score of 90 and their AIT is nine weeks long. Not that long to be honest. They wear hard hats, they don't wear PCs, but that's another great job that can help you when you get to the civilian world. Make sure you check it out. MOS or job number eight is interior electrician. Another job that can help you when you get out to the military. Putting y'all in gyms, bro. Also known as 12 Rocket. These soldiers install transformers, circuit breakers, service panels, as well as blueprints and test equipment. In order to qualify for this job, you have to have a score of 93. And their AIT is seven weeks long. Not that long, honestly. And that can have a, you can make great money when you get out to the military. Job number seven is Prime Power Production Specialist. Also known as 12 Pop. They specialize in power plants, analyze the equipment to make sure they 
they are conducting properly, performs general repairs and maintenance. In order to qualify for this job, you have to have a GT score of 110 and a ST score of 107. This job has the longest AIT ever. It's more than a year. I think it's like a year and a week. If that's what you want to do, then do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing y'all on game. Just give me y'all the littlest bit of information on what these jobs kind of do. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you do your research. But job number 10, transmission and destruction specialists. These soldiers install electrical power description systems, hardware, and connect service drop. In order to qualify for this job, you have to have a score of 93. AIT 12 kilo is nine weeks long not that long the AIT is basically like college of the military you know what I'm saying make sure you hit the like comment subscribe hit that post notification bell if you haven't already man I love y'all doing 20 likes for part two man thank y'all for subscribing bye have a great time